In Tennessee, reaction to the leaked Supreme Court opinion on abortion falls on both sides. One side is more vocal than the other. News 12 Scott Coral is live in the studio with the details. Scott. The last abortion clinic here in Chattanooga closed almost 29 years ago to the day. The same people applauding that event got a boost when political blog Politico released this opinion from Justice Samuel Alito in the case of the state of Mississippi versus Jackson Women's Health Sunday night. 6232 Vance was once the home of Chattanooga's last abortion clinic. Now it's a memorial to the unborn, an action made by the president of the American Rights Coalition, Charles Wysong, almost 28 years ago. Wysong always held that the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision was wrong to take the rights away from the states and give it to those who actually have the babies, women. Roe v. Wade was a departure from that and an attempt to just simply impose upon us something where every man could do that which is right in his own eyes. And this leaked opinion uh, is really coming back and strengthening the laws and, and order of liberty in our country again. If the opinion becomes the final decision, Tennessee will then have what's called a trigger law. It criminalizes abortions within 30 days of the decision becoming final. There's only one exception. If the pregnant woman either has a life or death decision or would be significantly harmed by having the baby. Women who are raped won't have any recourse if they become pregnant. Wysong believes that might be an even bigger burden to have an abortion in that situation. The women who say, I was raped, I'm going to take the life of the baby, they come off, they are, they are putting themselves through a second trauma that they don't get over very well. The Supreme Court left one question unanswered. When exactly is a fetus a human being? The states have not come to an agreement on that fact, and David Fowler, the president of the Family Action Council of Tennessee, says this fight over abortion isn't anywhere close to being over. What brings it about in an ultimate final sense creates and brings about a human being. Then, then that creates an ethical question at the very moment that that person exists. And we have to then decide what do we now do. Planned Parenthood issued a statement saying, quote, Eliminating the right to an abortion will have serious life and death consequences for our patients, and we will fight like hell to defend their lives. End quote. In the studio, Scott Coral, News 12 Now.